Josh Liddy here from Sway Love, and I have a proposition that I want to make public right here in this video and then ask for your support in pushing this idea. I don't know how plausible it is or possible, but I want to put it out there anyways. As many of you know, the Carson Shelter manager, Gil Moreno, has resigned from his position. Now, I don't know what the process is looking like in finding his replacement, but I want to throw myself into the ring. Um, I want to run the Carson Shelter. Josh from Sway Love wants to run the Carson Shelter. I don't know how likely that is to happen considering LA County has not even allowed me to be an official volunteer at the shelter. They rejected my application out of hand by saying that I have an ongoing conflict with the department. Even knowing that, consider me for the job anyways. You know, the first thing that somebody's probably gonna say is, well, Josh, you don't have any experience. And that's semantically true, I suppose. But let me, let me back up for a second. How I respond to that would be to say, well, define experience. Because, you know, if experience means killing dogs constantly and doing as little as possible and um, retaliating against help and being a control freak and not being transparent and being a total shill for LA County and Marsha Maeda, then they're right. I don't have any experience with that and I'll never have that kind of experience. But I do have experience in the fact that I'm the anti to all of that. And if you're thinking with your head on straight, that should be an asset to wherever this shelter goes in the future. My experience is based in the fact that I'm open-minded. Being non-judgmental towards the members of the community. Being willing to try new things. Knowing that I need help and accepting any help that anybody wants to give me. Promoting the aspect of a team. Being transparent and straightforward about what I'm experiencing while I'm experiencing it. And lastly, not being prejudiced or discriminatory towards uh, certain breeds or types of dogs. That ends under me immediately. Not, not happening forevermore, and that's a promise. Now, don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure that Gil made close to 150K a year plus benefits and pension. You could pay me less than a third of that, let's say 45K a year, and what will we do with the rest of the money? Put it back into the shelter. Put it into actual programs that, that's meant to engage the community and promote the animals and ultimately um, create a better working system that kind of uh, helps the many aspects that are involved here. True low cost spay and neuter like legitimate low cost spay neuter. Expand um, the rescue groups that the shelter works with. Not look for reasons to uh, decline people or kick people out. We want to uh, say, yes, come help, you know? We want your help and we want it immediately. We're not gonna put you through some arbitrary process that takes, you know, eight or 10 months to get um, certified to be a be a rescue when you already have your 501c3 or what have you just come in and help if you want to help legitimate foster program create a TNR program um, create a pet retention program where myself and other uh, members of the staff volunteers go out every morning and speak to the people that are surrendering the dogs talk to them be open with them about what could possibly happen um, and try to give them uh, options not just accept the dogs out of hand with no communication whatsoever because that's not your place no it should be everybody's place to prevent animals from coming in right be super proactive with reuniting lost pets with their owners that means you know scanning for microchips numerous times that means looking at the tags and following up that means calling directly the microchip company that means then calling the owners numerous times, not just doing as little as possible. Work with the individual dogs and 
give them individual time and make their stay a little bit more bearable than it, than it has been in the past. Be creative about it. That means bringing in photographers. I'll be taking pictures. Other people can be taking pictures, videos. Um, all the dogs can go out to the yard, maybe even create a play program, maybe down the line create like uh, an intervention program that would manifest itself into something. That I would be open to all of this. Expand public relations. Here's one little insight that, you know, I looked into last night and was kind of blown away by the lack of community engagement just in this one aspect, which is Facebook. Like I said, my organization is Sway Love. On Facebook, as of last night, I had over 12,600 likes. That is more than double every county shelter combined. All six county shelters combined came in with 6,199 likes. So Sway Love has more than double that, more than double six county shelters. And I'm not saying that to brag. No, quite the opposite. I'm saying that because that's pathetic. That's pathetic, man. These are county shelters, shelters built into the conglomerate of LA County. It's just a reflection of how poor that has worked up to this point when you got shelters like Downey who don't even have 400 likes on their Facebook page. Lancaster, 550. There's no reason that me or any other single person should have more likes than any shelter, let alone all six combined. That's ridiculous, and that needs to change. Last, last points that I would wanna make, I have an open door policy with whomever. Um, that means staff, that means existing staff, that would mean existing volunteers, that would mean you know, any new staff that I would love to bring on, uh, new volunteers that I would love to bring on. Volunteers are the foundation for everything especially those programs that I would want to add with that leftover money from Gil's salary, right? Because volunteers are the um, motor that makes these programs work successfully, um, cohesively. Without volunteers, none of that works. I take the handcuffs off. I say, if you want to volunteer, please come and volunteer. We want to expand this volunteer uh, program, volunteerism, immediately. This is what's going to be the basis of the Carson shelter under someone like myself. No more doing as little as possible. We would do as much as humanly possible. And anybody that wouldn't believe in that premise, we bring people in to replace them and do that work because there's plenty of people out there that want to do that work. Um, they're just shunned from the system. They are not allowed behind the curtain because they're not controlled 100%. And I don't want to control people 100%. So that's a major difference between myself and Gil or whoever else they, they're probably going to bring in to replace Gil. Hopefully it's not somebody that's worse because Gil was terrible. So with that, um, I hope there's some good ideas in there. I hope my enthusiasm comes off. I'm well aware of how much of a long shot this is, but you never know what can happen if the community gets behind the idea and makes it an issue. So that's what I want to do. I want to make it an issue. All I want to do is present them with the option. Um, I don't want to not put my money where my mouth is. We all know that Carson was run bad. We all know that they did a lot of crappy stuff. Just off my website alone, I've been documenting a lot of that stuff for over three years. The Josh that you know, the Josh that you've seen, um, on my website, on uh, Facebook, in person, if you've met me, um, that's me. And uh, that's who I would be as a shelter manager. Um, outspoken, um, hardworking, real, dedicated, uh, compassionate. My heart's connected to, to these dogs. And would I have to kill some of them? I, I would assume I would. I, I mean, I hope not. Um, you know, I hope that we could do the best that we possibly could, but does that mean, you know, still having to kill? Yeah, probably. And, um, but I don't know. I don't know what I'm getting myself into. But the point is I, I, I'm willing to, to see 
I'm willing to find out. Um, I know beyond a shadow of a doubt that I can be a better manager and do a better job than Gil Moreno did.